everybody and welcome to Tooth Products The Story. My name is Lauren aka Logan aka Eld. I am the designer and the manufacturer of Tooth Products also known as the Sabretooth and Sabretooth Jr. The basic story started out back in 2019 when I purchased my one wheel. But I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself. Let me give you a quick background about myself. Um, I attended uh, college at California University and had majored in industrial education. I was a machinist slash tool and die maker uh, about 20 years. I also uh, raced dirt late model stock cars and did that for approximately 20 years. So along with that I had to learn how to weld along with several several other manufacturing techniques and fabrication and I worked with the various amount of metals including different fasteners and different materials uh, steel aluminum plastics so that's a just a brief history about Getting me back to the story back in 2019 bought myself a one wheel like several other people I had a little incident my first ride out, I was going up a steep incline and maybe had 30 minutes on the board. And I really couldn't recognize a pushback, you know, when that board tells you, hey, slow down, slow down, or ease up. And if you don't, I'm going to give up on you, at least briefly. So anyhow, I was going up this incline and had the pushback. And I was barely moving, maybe one, two mile an hour. I'm a bigger guy. I'm not your buck 50 or buck and a quarter. I'm good 265. And this was a steep paved in going up the hill. Board said, ease up. I want to go a little faster. The board said, no way. Basically shut down for that split second. The nose of the board dove down, hit the pavement, and immediately it stopped dead. I was off balance. Boom, down to the ground I went. Hard pavement. Didn't get hurt. Although, from that point on, I just didn't feel at ease riding the board. So, after that little incident, I finished my ride and I immediately went home and I cannibalized a set of inline skates. And, lo and behold, the first prototype. Here it is. And it was nothing fancy. Um, I was just looking for some mounting points on the board and I was going to thought, well, I'm going to go with one wheel versus the two wheels. Why did I go with the one wheel? Well, I just thought when you're going and going into a turn, rather than having one wheel hit, um, every action has an equal and opposite reaction. So I thought you're going to hit this corner, and so it's immediately going to want to push up. Even though it would only be for a split second, it's going to want to throw you off balance a little bit. So I decided to go with a one wheel design and dubbed the snaggle tooth at the time uh, those those of you that have known tooth products you probably saw the early ads back in 2019 and maybe at the first part of 2020 when that was actually offered in a one wheel configuration this worked fine i mean it worked and the prototype did its job and it did what i wanted and i was going off this wheel size and everything from this lowly prototype held together with pop rivets and one screw, the uh, famed 10, uh, 1032 screw, to our Sabretooth and our Sabretooth Junior for the pint. Let's talk a little bit about the two units. The one that came out first was for the XR. Um, I went with a larger wheel, number one, with a 47 millimeter. A little more user friendly on a variety of surfaces because I'm not always on pavement. Sometimes I would be on dirt. And as my driver for today is going to demonstrate, he's going to do just a few touch and goes. Um, one question right off the bat I'm going to address is why aren't you, why don't you have some, show some video of you actually being saved from a real actual nosedive. An actual nosedive crash is not that easily filmed. I mean, you basically have to have camera running on yourself and the GoPro 24 seven every time you go out because a nosedive crash, unless you're doing a drag, they're not planned, they're, they're random. It can be at a high speed, it can be at a low speed. Me and myself, I've nosedive more times than I don't even keep track anymore. I know it's more than 20 times. But since I'm running a nosedive recovery device, I don't crash anymore. It's a simple touch and go. I don't even sweat it anymore. It's just, 
I enjoy the ride a lot more. And that's the purpose of having a one wheel is to enjoy the ride safely. Um, if you're an X Games type and you like doing stunts, more power to you, to each their own. For me personally, I use it for enjoyment. And knowing that I'm not going to have an automatic crash from a nosedive, if and or when it does occur, it just makes that experience that much better. All right, so anyhow, I went with the 47 millimeter. Number one, it's better on a variety of terrains. So in other words, you can touch off on pavement, which is fine. It'll Because of the diameter, if you happen to touch off on a little wider crack, the wider diameter gives you that little bit more of a step up and over. So it's not going to get gobbled up. In other words, if you're hitting a pit like this, obviously it's going to gobble that wheel up. But, you know, you can go and if you nose dive and say a half inch or something, it's just going to keep rolling through. The odds of that happening, probably slim to none. However, that's why there are nose dive crashes or nose dive accidents, because you don't know when they're going to happen. All right? That's one reason I went with the wheel. The other thing is, this is a standard wheel. All right? I've had customers that have bought, bought the unit, Eat and customize in their color. I had one guy that got that purchased some glow in the dark wheels for it. so he took these out and because they are modular, I made them modular on purpose so you could take it apart. Once it's yours, it's yours. What you do with it is up to you. All right. Um, but what he did is he got some glow in the dark wheels and put those on and sent me a picture and boy, it looks it looks really cool. I'm like, it's it, I like it. So <laughs> I mean. But that's one reason. It's a standard inline skate wheel. I went with that size. Um, I went with an aluminum construction. Okay, several reasons. One, T61, 6061 aluminum is a very strong material. Anyone that's messed around with aluminum knows how strong it is. Construction say what it's rated to, I believe 275 pounds, and you're not going to have an issue with that. Just for kicks, what I did, I put 336 pounds myself, and then I held weight. I stepped on the board and I put all the weight up in the front of the device and I kind of bounced just a little bit to see what it would do. Nothing broke, but I did have one of the mounting screws, which is a 1032 screw. It had a slight bend in it, but nothing broke. So at that point, I'm like, these things are bulletproof. For the XR version and the Plus version, you only have two screws that mount it, but that is all that's needed. There aren't any braces that are required. Yes, I could add to it, but it's overkill. It's really not needed. This device is meant as a safety device, a nose dive recovery device. In other words, if you happen to nose dive, this is going to give you at least a chance to not crash and to ride out of it. All right. Um, they are sealed bearings. All right. So you're not going to get sand or anything up in there. Once again, it's made of aluminum, so it's not going to bend. It's not going to break. Um, one person, uh, I've had some people ask questions, does it block the light? There is a video showing, uh, once again, my son on his XR, and it's mount and he has a saber tooth on it, and it's at nighttime, and you can see the lights. Now, if you call FM or write them, email them, they're going to tell you that the lights on the board are not to be, they weren't intended to be headlights, okay? Although some people do use them at night, and that's the only light that they have. Even without a nosedive recovery device on, they don't shine 10, 15 feet out in front of you. Um, they're a few feet at the best. Those lights were intended so that you can be seen at night, so that people can see you. And as far as that purpose,